we're here. Are you wearing a mask? I think we're gonna make some music. Finally. Running a little cold today. Man, it's been a while since I've seen everybody, so I'm excited to play, see the band. It's been a while. I miss these guys. Hey there, how are you? Hi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's not going to happen. Nope, you're good. Carrying my own gear. Oh, we're going to raise some money for the veteran program here at camp. Super excited about that. And uh, we're going to play some tunes for the fourth and uh, raise, raise some money for camps and, and keep the impact that's happening here at Camp Southern Ground going for our veterans. So it's a, it's a privilege to be here today. And it's a beautiful day. It's getting hot, summertime, Georgia summertime. You going to throw it behind your back or are you going I, I to? I've never thrown. I think I've thrown maybe one, one time. Okay. So you're gonna show me how to do this. Okay. All right, we'll just get you a, get you a stack. Stack them. Mm -hmm. Singles. So when you're, you're throwing, you're gonna let the ax hang like a pendulum. Uh-huh. Like, let, just let gravity bring it all the way to, okay. so that's zero. All right, yeah. Okay, like six o'clock is, you know, basically zero. Let it hang at six. Uh-huh. And then from there, kind of look at it, because when it feels like it's straight, it's always like this. Right. Okay. Yeah, so look at it, and then get it up high, kind of next to your ear, and you're just going to come straight from there and pull straight over. Okay. We're going to try to find where it sticks for just one rotation. So hold it up like this. Uh-huh. Put your thumb on this side on the hole. Other side. Other side. Yeah, like, gotcha. just like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Straight from here, over. So you're gonna read your throw. Right. So take about a half a step forward. Yep, now do it again. Start from zero, look at it, look at the ax, get it up next to your ear. Yep, right there, and then just pull straight over. Perfect. So that amount of distance, so the thing's spinning in the air like this. Right. So it's stuck like that, so when you, I see. So you're, you're calculating the spin and where it's going to you land. Want it, you're going to get maximum penetration when it's at like a 45. Right. So okay. That's, that's perfect. Yeah. So that's your spot. So we're going to start right here. Yeah. And paste that off to the front of the target and see how many steps you got. Sure. Seven and a half. Seven and a half. Okay. Now turn around from there. Now we're going to double it. Uh, make sure they're right back to back. There you go. <laughs> you ought to. Okay, and now hold your arm out. Okay. Hold your arm out straight. And then subtract the length of your arm. So walk up to the tip of your fingers. Subtract it. So come up here. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, so right. Two more steps right there. So that ought to be for two revolutions right there. So you find your spot where you hit it at one, and then you double it. Yeah. And subtract the length of your arm. Okay, so now you got to read your throw. So it, it was allowed to rotate all the way over to here. Right. So take a take another step forward. Every every step you take forward, it shortens that rotation, so it eventually gets back down to here. Perfect. Nice. Congratulations. Thanks. And let it hang straight up and down. Mm -hmm. Get it up a little bit. Yeah, kind of next to your ear, mm -hmm. like it hangs right next to your ear. And just from there, straight over. That's perfect. perfect. 
perfect. Let's get that extra medical tone. Well, we are, uh, it's sort of a reunion of sorts, really. We haven't, none of us have seen each other since uh, early March. Yeah, so I think we're all just gonna try not to cry. <laughs> yeah. See if we all remember how to play and <laughs> sing. And uh, you can't see, but I'm smiling. I'm trying to learn how to smile with my eyes. Is it working? a better smack out of these things. Strange for me, <laughs> except I'm just not on the road half the week. My home life is pretty much the same, except I can't go into the grocery store. But I'm, I've been really lucky playing with these boys, throwing them in the pool, and mom is pregnant, so. Not these boys. Not these boys. No. Yeah, I've had a lot of time to reconnect with the family. You know, we're, we're gone half the time usually, so um, we're just trying to look into, you know, 
the blessings that we have and the bright side of things and, and try to remain positive and, and, and that's family for me. I probably cut down 30 shrub trees and <laughs> I've built a garden out back and the only, the only the worst part about it at our place is that the kids miss their friends but um, but the good part is that they've really connected with each other. I've got three girls and, and they're they're just a little a little team of monsters now so um, they always have been but they're a bigger stronger team now I think this time pulling your family close during this time has, has been it was such a great blessing in the middle of all of it I think also in the, in the middle of the, the turbulence of everything that's that's happening and and you know not being able to be around our our crew and be around each other and all of that um, has, has definitely been different, but I think, I think that this has allowed me to slow down way more than I ever would have to be able to, to kind of look inward also and to do some of the work that I know that I've needed to do for myself and for my betterment for, you know, just to, just to try to be, to be better. And um, I'm, I'm really grateful for all the people that you know, that you know and you miss and you get to have some reflection and get the time, some time to call people and you get to really see during this time like what really matters and the people that really matter. And it's been, it's been a, uh, that's, that's been the greatest, you know, part about it and every, that it can bring the right people closer and at your center no matter what's happening or whatever, just realizing that if we just have the basic needs that we have and we have our, our family that that's all that really counts. Everything else is just noise. Um, for me, this has been a great enlightening uh, in a lot of ways. Oh, I've, I've been building a garden. That's about it. Throwing my kids around and growing some squash and cucumbers and getting to eat it. Uh, it's pretty satisfying, actually, uh, to eat, eat your own food, you know, you made. For me, it's the laughter with everyone, getting to see all the guys and high five them on the way out to the stage, and getting to you know hear hear the laugh, everybody cutting up and joking around with each other. I think I think a lot of that laughter and just like congregating and seeing the, the impact that we have, getting to stand. I think the first night that we get to all go out in front of a crowd again is going to be super emotional. Yeah, and you know what's crazy is we ended our tour in October of last year, and. So it had already been a long time that we had been off the road and we went out for, we had some rehearsals, then we went out for two weeks and pulled the plug. And so it had already been a long time for us. So, you know, it, it's approaching a year that, you know, since, since we had our last tour. So for me, man, it's just, these are my friends. You know, I don't, I don't have a, a big group of friends. I, I have a small, tight circle and all these guys are my friends. So it's, 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 been, uh, it's been tough. Not being around these guys, but this is t today's pretty special reunion. You know, it seems like it's been five years since I've seen these guys. Yeah, we have we have a lot of that camaraderie on the road that that's hard to hard to duplicate over a phone, even though we try. Um, but I agree with Zach too that the audience is a big part of what of what I miss, and um, and that's that's one of the one of the most driving. Uh, forces in, in, in why I perform. Since I can remember, since I was 17, I've been playing shows on 4th of July. You know, we were playing somewhere. Uh, that was the tradition. We were usually together out playing a show. I mean, we haven't gotten to be with our family for, you know, a lot of the holidays aside from Thanksgiving and Christmas um, and get to have a summer we're working out all summer, um, and um, so I'm excited to create new ones. Yeah, I, well, Concur. E either I either play a show or I, I don't think I've ever done the same thing, you know, repeated. Like we were on an airplane yeah. last year on July 4th. The past several years, we we've been going out to Lake Oconee and we watch fireworks at, at the lake, and and it's it's sad this year that we don't get. To, Get to do that, and, and we could go do that, but they're not having them. You know, they're just not. They're not letting people congregate like that. So um, I don't know where the fireworks shows are around around uh, my neighborhood. Paul's uh, house. 
Paul's house. Yeah, you know what's fun is, is getting around. <laughs> That's a good our, idea. Getting around our tour manager when he, when, he, when he has a bunch of fireworks and he starts. T- That's a great like, idea. Tying them all together and, and yeah. he's like, oh, it's good. Yeah, you, you know, you know, you know. These are all good. <laughs> that, that's a fun time. I'm going to look forward to this seeing Paul lose his finger down the next year. Every time. It'll be Lights. great. You just go over to Paul's with two or three layers of PPE just to protect yeah, yourself. Right. <laughs> He's not here. <laughs> yeah, it's probably Coy. Probably Coy. I mean, just all of it, man. He's got a million stories. And he's always instigating something with other people, too, you know? He never stops talking trash. Never. <laughs> always got something smart to say. I, I will say with all this distance that I almost smart. miss it. Yeah, almost. <laughs> Sorry, smart aleck. <laughs> For me, hands down, it was Steven Tyler at Fenway Park. Yeah. I don't remember the year, but he came out and we got to do Sweet Emotion and Walk This Way with him. And I've never seen anybody do what he did. He like, it was like he walked out there and picked up Fenway Park and spun it around on his finger. It's crazy. It's been, you know. uh, for me, there's been so many, it's, it's hard to, to, but you know, getting to play Colder weather with James Taylor. Hearing James Taylor sing one of our songs, yeah, that's um, and getting to sing, you know, "Sweet Baby James" with him at the end of it was massive. But I was just telling somebody in the car on the way here, like four, three months before Adele put out Twenty One, the album that really made her. I saw her name on this thing, and we played this random TV show that, that they were doing for a while, and they stopped doing it. But there was this name on there Adele and I didn't know how to say it I was like that Adelaide or what it is I don't know what it was and while we're at the thing Adele comes up to me and is like you know I really love you I really love your your song I really love your music and I was like thank you you know it's great and then like a month later two months later I got that 21 record and absolutely fell in love with it and listened to it so Adele I don't know if we'll ever be in the same universe ever together together again but I would love the chance to get to have that conversation after I know who you are. <laughs> you know, I, I would love that. I'd love to get to tell you how much I love your voice and your songs and all of it. So I would have probably freaked out. Like now, if I, I'd be like, so. Uh, Greg Allman's a huge deal for me. Um, he, he was he was always a, a big inspiration to me as a musician growing up, and just getting to, to meet him and be on the stage with him was amazing. Yeah, we used to put on a festival in Charleston every year, and we, we it'd be three days, and we'd bring our families out, and then we'd hire all our favorite musicians to play with and make them play with us. <laughs> so we got to play with Greg Gallman, Cheryl Crow, John Mayer, um, a lot of great artists. The first time I was left alone with my daughter, I was terrified that I'm responsible for this life, you know? Um, <clears throat> I'm ne- I won't ever forget that, that feeling uh, and responsibility. Um, <clears throat> and then you're gonna mess them up a little bit if you love them too much. You're gonna mess them up a little bit if you don't love them enough. If you shelter them too much, if you don't shelter them enough, if you don't do this and that. So there was always these like, so I was just like stressed out. Like, what do you do? You know, you try to like, if, you, if you're too heavy handed, then they're going to run the other direction. And then figuring it out, like the psychology of it and understanding it, like, I, I, don't, I don't know. And so a lady told me one time that, that if you teach your kids how to be good people, that um, they be successful at whatever they set out to do. And so for me, it's important to them where they don't feel entitled to things and, and they understand all of the work and the people that are behind things that happen so they can appreciate them so that they have a perspective of gratitude and so that they can they can be in gratitude for what they have um i'm i'm not gonna like make all of them just like wealthy where they don't know what it's like to earn something for themselves to like to have for them to to work and have their own you know job and their own car and their own thing like to be able when you've given all of those things 
you don't know how to appreciate them. So through that journey, trying to just be around them and know who they are, see how they're talking to each other, see how they're talking to, you know, to other adults, see how they're interacting. And so we can try to like be there to coach them and say, you know, that's really not the way that you handle things and here's why. And also just letting them know that I'm a human too. I screw up. I get mad sometimes, I get loud sometimes, I don't want to, but it's okay, you know, that <clears throat> love kind of transcends all of our humanity um, with the right amount of work put in. And, you know, <clears throat> that's a heavy question, but I, I, I lean back to just knowing, I'm dedicated to knowing who they are and to try to help them be good people. Thank you all. Our staff's incredible here at camp. Everybody that showed up today and wearing masks and staying apart and doing everything that we need to do to get it pulled off. And thanks again uh, to all of our all of our veterans. Thank thank God for all of you. And thank you know I'm just grateful. There there's the greatest parts of America right now are not being seen and heard necessarily. And so we just want to give you our love and respect. Um, and for all of our our our, our military. Uh, you know, all of our veterans, all our people in blue, everyone that's out there that serves. And we're out here and we're, we're in gratitude for all of you and what you do to sacrifice to make this such an amazing country and a great place to be. There's no other place that I would rather live, even in the middle of this, this will pass and we will find our footing again. And for all the people that have to just sit back and be quiet and patiently wait for, for this to pass, um, we send you love and gratitude. Wishing I was knee deep in the water somewhere Got the blue sky breeze and it don't seem fair Only worry in the world is the tide gonna reach my chair Sunrise, there's a fire in the sky Never been so happy, never felt so high And I think I might have found me my own kind of paradise. Hi everybody, it's Hoda Kotb from the Today Show. It is so, so, so great to see you. I see you from around the country. Some of you are joining us from around the world and this is how you celebrate the 4th of July, you guys. You know how you celebrate the 4th of July? There's kind of really only one way. You celebrate it with the Zach Brown Band. Okay, Joel and I went to the Zach Brown Band concert in Flushing in Queens. And to this day, when anyone asks us what our favorite concert ever was, we always say it was the Zach Brown Band at Flushing. It was amazing. And one of the things Zach talked about when we were at the concert was Camp Southern Ground. And I remember he spoke like from his heart. In fact, he, I felt like he had his heart in his hand when he was talking about Camp Southern Ground. So I got home and I Googled it because I wanted to know more about it. Well, tonight we are about Camp Southern Ground. Zach talks about it. And tonight we are going to lift up Camp Southern Ground and how it benefits veterans. Because after all, you guys, that's what the 4th of July is all about. It's about veterans and us saying thank you. I cannot tell you how thrilled I am to be here. I'm here with a man who I admire, who I adore, who, who has probably the best six part harmony on the planet Earth. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is, the man, Zach Brown. Hi, Zach. Hey, how are you? Okay, so good to wait see a minute. You. Seeing your face, no lie, makes me like fills me up inside. It's so great. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. Um, family's well. Everybody, you know, in in the face of everything that's that's happening and out there, I think keeping everyone keeping everyone close and together. It's really good to see your face too. I haven't got to see a lot of uh, a lot of faces through this time, but getting to see some of my guys today and getting to see some of my crew here is, uh, you know, it, it it warms me up as well. Um, seeing seeing everybody still with with masks on and getting used to kind of what the new normal is right now and um, is it's it's strange but wonderful at the same time. And uh, there's beauty all around us. You just gotta gotta look for it. <laughs> Yeah, when you you say that, and there are blessings. I think a lot of people look and they see darkness. What blessings do you see in this whole in this whole thing we're going through? You know, I my life ran at about a, you know two hundred miles an hour at, at at all times, and 
I'm, I'm able to just be a little more centered, I would say, through through these times. Mm-hmm. Um, I have the same exact schedule with my kids every, you know, every other week. I get them for every other week. And that that part is magic. Um, you know, growing a garden, being able to be home, being able to be, you know, have a little bit of time to just reflect and think about things and look at things. Um, and, um, you know, with Fourth of July coming up and thinking about all the people that have sacrificed for our country and the people, um, our veterans and the, the people that are currently serving um, and think about how much that we owe to them for, for what they do for us all the time. And so I'm really glad to be here today. Thank you for your love and support. It does me really good to see you and see your face. And, um, and thank you for helping us to spread the word with Camp Sun Ground oh. and the work we're doing here with veterans. And um, it, it's been it's been interesting. All of it has been interesting. But it, today is going to be an amazing celebration for um, for all the people that that, you know, have fought and died and lived their lives so that we can be safe here. That's something that we sometimes can kind of take for mm-hmm. granted that we feel, you know, safe in our homes and um, and that we can be free and live the American dream and be whatever we um you know, whatever we manifest and whatever we work on, you know, you, you can do it here. And to live in a country like that is, is an honor. And I love this country and I love the people um, that make it up and the people that protect us. So that's why we're here today. I kind of want to start crying right now, but that's a whole other thing. Um, I think what's cool about you, Zach, and I don't want to, you know, I know you, you're not great with taking compliments, but too bad. You could be sitting in a house on a hill you could be counting your money, having a great life, drinking champagne, but instead you, that's not what you do. You've always talked about Camp Southern Ground. Uh, you've talked about the children who you've helped support, the underserved kids and all kinds of kids and the veterans. But why, tell me why serving veterans, giving back to veterans was something that just was something you had to do. I've been blessed. Um, you know, when I, when I used to, when I was playing in bars and things around Atlanta, um, I lived with some veterans and gotten to be friends with them. Some of my high school friends, um, mm-hmm. you know, joined to serve our country and getting to see the special kind of person, just, just like our, um, our first responders and, mm-hmm. and, and, um, and, and just like our, you know, civil servants and all the people that it takes a special kind of person to want to give up their life and their comfort so that they can, you know, work for a better good and be part of something that's, that's bigger than themselves. And it's a really special kind of person um, Mm -hmm. that, you know, that, that protects our country. And, and I'm, I'm, I've always in awe of this, of the sacrifices and the selflessness that a lot of those people carry. And they're very, um, they're very skilled and they're very specialized, but they're also very self, you know, selfless. And Mm -hmm. they're very, very proud of this country and the fabric of what it stands on. And, and that, that in the middle of all these times right now and everything that's mm-hmm. going on, that is still there. Mm-hmm. There's still um, mm-hmm. incredible fabric of, of people and the people who serve this country and, and everyone. And um, I don't know, it's, it, I've just gotten an appreciation for them. I, I, mm-hmm. I've, been in, I've been living with some and had some great relationships and friendships with them. And they're always people that I know no matter what that I can count on and the kind of people that it takes to, um, to do that, the kind of servant's heart that it takes to, to serve, you know, to, to wow. really be there for us. Well, I always see veterans at your concerts. Um, they're always there. And I feel like knowing that your band is back together kind of puts a warm hand on my heart. There's something about having the Zach Brown band back together. And I have to tell you, I wish the song that you guys wrote called The Man Who Loves You Most I mean, I wish you would have warned me before I listened to that song. I needed to get under the covers with some Twinkies. Like, I needed that kind of a situation with that song. Um, that, I mean, so many of your songs are special, but my word, that one, like, hits you hard, doesn't it? It hit me hard. I mean, I just thinking about it now, thinking about my girls and what that's going to be like one day. Um, oh. You know, um, I'm really proud of that one. And, and proud of, of what it's going to be. And hopefully it can be part of other people's journeys through their lives is, you know, whether it's like a first dance or a father playing it for his daughter and, um, you know, the man who loves you the most and, and the, the, the guys that I wrote the song with, um, my buddy, my buddy Ben, that, that, um, that it was really great to get together and write with him again and, and get to come up with something magic and, and, you know, it's a blessing. It's great to get to talk about it. It's great to get to bring music to people in these times and, 
to make that decision. And people are like, well, is it is it insensitive to release music right now in these times? And I think music is one of the things that carries us through some of the hardest times and that reminds us uh, of, of what was and what what is going to be, you know, that everything is going to be OK. Um, this, the spirit of music and being able to serve people in that way, even though we're not able to go out and be on a stage right now. Um, and, you know, we're we're hibernating, but we're creating music. You know, we're we're kind it. of in a we're kind of in a, in a limbo, but we're locked in with our families and the really centering around the things that matter. And moving forward, some of the great things that we've picked up through this, those things aren't going to change. We're going to keep a lot of the great stuff that's mm-hmm. going on. Right now. Well, Zach, I love you. I'm excited to be with you today. I'm excited to kick off the 4th of July with you. I'm excited about Camp Southern Ground and the way you all serve veterans. Shall we get the party started, Zach? Let's do it. And I hope to see you soon. Oh, I can't. By the way, I can't. I'm counting the days. I love you, Zach. Love you, baby. Thank you. We are live from Camp Southern Ground. We're grateful you're joining us for a night of music celebration and support for Camp Southern Ground and our nation's veterans. Our first song tonight is free. It's dedicated to Angela and Glenn Goad. Glenn led the inspiration for tonight's live stream. He reached out to us and said our music has helped his family and helped him get through some really difficult times. Um, Angela and Glenn, thank you for your longstanding generosity to our mission here at camp. It's so very appreciated.
all so younger than the sun And a bonnet boat was one As we sailed into the misty Hark now hear the sailors cry You smell the sea and you, you feel the sky Let your soul and spirit fly into the mystic When the fog on blows, I'll be coming home When the fog on blows Just like way back in the days of old Now together we will flow Out of the misty It's a, it's a little emotional playing all these songs right now and remembering every single show that all of our fans showed up to and we're singing and in this with us. So um, we're dedicating you know these songs to um, to the people that made an amazing donation today. But thank you so much to everyone, to all of our fans, to the Zamley, to everyone, all of our crew, everyone throughout time that's been there for us. And what a blessing. Um, to get to have this career in our life and what we do, so. This next song goes out to a good friend of mine. He's on a lot of lists there, so if he moves in your neighborhood, you're probably gonna know he's there. Gunnar Peterson, this one's for you. This one's called No Hurry. Car needs washing, run yard needs a trim, and the telephone keeps ringing, and the boss man knows I know it's him, and the bills ain't gonna pay themselves no matter anyway. Cause I ain't in no hurry today. Nothing wrong with an old cane fishing pole and the smell of early spring. Sit down in a fold up easy chair on a quiet, shady river bank. Let the world go on without me. Wouldn't have it any other way. Cause I ain't in no hurry today. Ain't in no hurry. Be a fool now. Till I'm 
perfect I'd raise a little cane And I plan to raise a whole lot more Before I hear those angels sing Gonna get right with the Lord But there'll be hell to pay But I ain't in no hurry Ain't in no hurry Be a fool now, no worry About all those things I can't change Social isolation is needed right now, but hard, especially for our veterans. But we're here tonight to turn it around and make sure everyone knows they are not alone. Thanks for spending your night with us. This next song we're going to play is called Homegrown. Lay back and smell the sun Warm up the Georgia pine It be so good to be Taking it easy Why would I ever leave? Cause I know I got some good friends That live down the street Got a good looking woman With her arms around me Here in a small town There it feels like This next song is a cover, and it's from probably my biggest inspiration as a singer-songwriter and a guitar player, um, and also getting to 
sit with some of the people that were your heroes when you grow up and get to, to you know, to have gotten to, to play with James. Uh, this is Mr. James Taylor. And uh, we're going to dedicate this one to Mr. Peterson. There is a young cowboy who lives on the range. His horse and his cattle are his only companions. Works in the saddle and he sleeps in the canyons, waiting for summer his pastures to change. And as the moon rises, he sits by his fire, thinking about women and glasses of beer, closing his eyes as the doggies retire. He sings out a song which is soft but is clear. As if maybe someone could hear Good night, you moonlight ladies Rock up by sweet baby James Deep greens and blues for the colors I choose Won't you let me go down in my dreams and rock a by sweet baby James Now the first of December is covered with snow So was the turnpike from Stockbridge to Boston Now the Berkshires seem dreamlike on account of that frosting Ten miles behind me, ten thousand more to go there's a song that they sing when they take to the highway A song that they sing when they take to the sea A song that they sing of their home in the sky Maybe you can believe it if it helps you to sleep Singing works just fine for me So good night, you move Ladies, rock a by sweet baby James. Deep greens and blues are the colors I choose. Won't you let me go down in my dreams and rock a by sweet baby James? So good night, you moonlight lady. Rock a by sweet baby James. Deep greens and blues for the colors I choose. Won't you let me go down in my dreams? Oh, rock a by sweet baby James. This song goes out to all the dads out there. But especially my, fan, my friend, Paul, and he and his wife, Sonia, dedicate this to their newly engaged daughters, Chrissy and Dottie, who I love as well. I love your whole family. Um, so this is the man who loves you the most. I try to pack Got you climbing on my back Saying daddy when am I Gonna see you again You know I gotta go out On the road And get on with the show So most nights Your mama's gonna tuck you in When you're missing me Look at the stars up there I'll be wishing on the same one to sing this Father's Prayer. I hope you see the seven wonders. I hope you sail the seven seas. I hope you let the whole world in your heart, but you still got room for me. I hope you find the guy to treat you right. On your wedding night, I'll raise a toast. Hope he 
understands I'll always be the man that loves you the most Summer's gone, the school is back It's my turn to help you pack I keep your room exactly how it is you Gotta go out on your own I'm so proud of you, you know You're the best thing that this old man ever did When I'm missing you and all the stars come out this prayer when the quiet gets too loud I hope you see the seven wonders I hope you sail the seven seas I hope you let the whole world in your heart but you still got room for me I hope you find a guy to treat you right on your wedding night I'll raise a toast hope he understands I'll always be the man that loves you the most Trust your gut, hold your own Put it out for doubting too Give the wrongs and love yourself That's the hardest thing to do If your back's against the wall, baby When you see the seven wonders, when you sail the seven seas, when you change the whole world with your heart, I hope you'll think of me. When I go to sing my final song, hope you celebrate and raise a toast. If you cry, they'll understand. For the man who loved you. Thank you, everyone, for your support so far. Be sure to buy this T-shirt, this one right here, just this one, tonight, to help raise funds for Camp Southern Ground and veterans across the nation. Cause now I'm knee deep in the water somewhere. Got the blue sky breeze blowing wind through my hair. Only worry in the world is the tide gonna reach my chair. Sunrise, there's a fire in the sky. Never been so happy, never felt so Shout out to the Thunder Dragon on this one. Hope to see you soon. I got my toes in the water, hands in the sand. Not a worry in the world, a cold beer in my hand. Life is good today. Life is good today. Touchdowns down just about three o'clock and the city's still on my mind. Bikini's and palm trees danced in my head. I was still in the back his line. Concrete cars with their own prison bars like this life I'm living in. Well, the plane brought me farther, surrounded my water, and I'm not going back again. I got my toes in the water. In the sand, not a worry in the world. A cold beer in my hand. Life is good today. Life is good today. Adios and my condios. Yeah, I'm leaving GA. And if it weren't for the key love, the seniorita's, I'd have no reason to stay. one and grab my guitar and play. The four days flew by, drunk 
one Friday night as the summer drew to an end. They can't believe that I just couldn't leave and I bid it to my friends. Cause my bartender, she's from the islands, her body's been kissed by the sun. And coconut replaces the smell of the bar and I don't know if it's her or her own, yeah. I got my toes in a wild ass in the sand In a worrying world of cold beer in my hand Life is good today yep. Life is good today Adios in via condis Hung away from the lake Yes, we're all the muchachos that call me Big Papa When I throw pesos their way and Yeah, I'm gone from the lake Someone do me a favor And pour me some Jaeger And grab my guitar Proper by the lake. Just put your ass in a lawn chair, toes in the clay. Not a worry in the world. A PBR on the way. Life is good today. Yep. Life is good today. Thank you. So a good friend of mine and the first major and longtime supporter uh, of Camp Southern Ground, Tor Peterson, would like to dedicate this song to his girlfriend, Anna, who deserves every gold medal deserved in every, any relationship possible. Whatever she's done to endure him for the, their entire relationship. And he thought it was funny that this is the song that he bought to sing for her, even though it's leaving love behind. But he's lucky that she hasn't left him behind and I think he counts his blessings every day. But this is one of her favorites. This is for you, Anna. Next up is Leaving Love Behind. Although the years have changed now and we go by different names, I remember the sound of our roof in the rain. And my mind goes back in time To a place so far gone Where the love we left behind us was still new We were listening to a record On the end of your bed Not giving thought to where it was all going and I wish right then and there so badly I could read your mind Just so I could know the things that you were knowing I believe, yes I do The hardest part is always leaving love behind I believe I do that everything we lose will be a gift in time but the hardest part is leaving love behind when it was time to say goodbye those words came down like stones and I admit for so long after it was hard to feel at home we would hear the highway song shifting down in the night. 
I was grateful that the echoes broke the quiet I believe, yes I do The hardest part is always leaving love behind I believe, yes I do Sun fades on me now And I miss you like words can know And I miss my shot at dying young A long time ago It's just a lesson learned in love It's not angry, it's not sad Sometimes you gotta lose something To know what you have This one's for the Patriots who support our military every day, like Judy Peterson, and for all the men and women who have served our nation. Thank you so much. Oh, beautiful, for spacious skies, for amber. Chicken fry, cold beer on a Friday night, a pair of jeans that fit just right, and the radio. Well, I was raised up beneath the shade of a Georgia pine, and that's home in a sweet tea pecan pie, and oh me why. Where the peaches grow In my house it's not much to talk about But it's filled with love It's grown in southern ground And a little bit of chicken fry. Cold beer on a Friday night A pair of jeans that fit just right And the radio world I like to see the sunrise See the love in my woman's eyes Touch your precious child Oh, a mother's love Ain't it funny how it's a little thing 
that mean the most not where you live what you drive or the price tag on your clothes there's no dollar sign on a piece of mind this i've come to know so if you agree have a drink with me raise your glasses for a toast to a little bit of chicken cold beer on friday night a pair of jeans that fit just right Precious child, oh, my mother's love. Thank God for my life For the stars and stripes May freedom forever fly Let it ring Salute the ones who die The ones that give their lives So we don't have to sacrifice All the things we love Like our chicken Thanks for joining us, everyone. It's hard being stuck at home, but we're so glad we could gather tonight at Camp Southern Ground for you and our nation's veterans. Coming together as one has never been more important. We've raised more than a million dollars leading up to tonight, and we're still accepting donations at CampSouthernGround.org. All donations that come in by midnight tomorrow, July 4th, have the chance to win this guitar signed by me. Thanks again so much for all of our sponsors and our donors. Have a great night, have a safe and happy Fourth of July, God bless America. Thank you all. Sunrise, there's a fire in the sky Never been so happy, never felt so high And I think I might have found me my own kind of paradise This champagne shore washing over me It's a sweet, sweet life Living by the salt to sea One day you will be as lost as me Change your geography Maybe you might be In the water somewhere Got the blue sky breeze Blowing wind through my hair Only worry in the world Is the tide gonna reach my chair Sunrise, there's a fire in the sky Never been so happy Never felt so high And I think I might have found me My own kind of paradise 
woman in the water's nice Find yourself a little slice Grab a backpack and lines you never know until you try When you lose yourself You find the key